Hey guys, in this video, I'll be showing you how to make an IP grab. We will be using Python for all of the code and Flask for the website, which gets the IP. And then we will make the IP be automatically sent on whatever Discord channel you want it to be sent. So make sure you have installed Flask, DateTime and Requests using pip. And then copy this simple Flask setup code here. Now in our index, we will have a variable called IP, which will be the client's IP. So this will be request.environment.get. Uh, make sure you have imported request from Flask as like I did above here. This will be HTTPX forwarded for, and then the other argument will be request.remoteaddress. Now let's also have an, a variable for a date. So date would be date time dot today dot string format. The format will be year, month, day, and then hour, minute, second. You don't necessarily need this, but I just think it's nice to log the date as well. So now these are the only two variables we need. So now let's create our uh, function that sends all of this data, these two variables on our Discord channel. So go over to your Discord server and go to server settings, integrations, webhooks, and create a new webhook. So I'll just call this webhook IP logger, and it will send the messages in the, whatever channel you want it to. So copy the webhook URL and then save your changes. Now let's create the function. So send IP, which will have two arguments, IP and date. Here uh, we'll have the variable for our webhook URL. So just paste whatever you copied. And now let's have a variable for our data. So just leave the content blank since we'll be using embeds for the information. And the title will be IP logger. Now our data embeds will have be a list that contains one embed that has the title IP and the description will be our date. But now we all we have to do is send this data to the webhook URL. So make sure you have imported requests, not, re not request requests. And we will use requests.post because it's a post request uh webhook url and then the other parameter will be json equals data so now make sure to also call the function here in index so after we get the ip we call the function send ip ip date uh so now let's also make it redirect so return a redirect so that you know it's less suspicious i guess redirect to i don't know google.com or wherever you want to redirect so this is basically all of the code. So if we run this and go to the website, it's not going to get your actual IP because it's going to get your local IP. Uh, so as you can see, it redirected us to Google and over on Discord, it got, this is my local IP. So to actually be able to get IPs, you need to have a site which you can send to people. So we will need to host this uh, code, this Flask site somewhere on the internet. So I have found Python Anywhere is pretty good because it's free, but you can use whatever hosting you want. So just go to pythonanywhere.com, create a new account, a free account, and then create a web app. So we will be using Flask and just use the latest Python version and then just click next. So after it finishes loading, just go to your uh, source code. So click go to directory on the source code. And this Flask app.py, just click on it. And here, just copy paste all of this code. So just control C and then control V here and then click save. So now go back to your uh, dashboard. Yeah. And click the reload button. So now this is your site's URL. It should be your username dot Python anywhere.com. So if you send this to anyone, it should log their IP on discord. So let's test this. Let's test it out right now. So if I click on it, it redirects me to google.com like we made it do. And on Discord, yep, as you can see, it logged my IP. I, I think I'll blur this, but um, 
this is actually my IP. And it also has the date and everything. So now this uh, link, you can just copy it and send it to anyone you want, and it will instantly log their IP on Discord. I hope you found this video helpful. All of the source code is in the description on GitHub. Uh, so make sure you follow and stay tuned for more videos like this.